be time. Start standing clear of your mat so that you can really make contact with the floor and think about your posture. Think big toe, baby toe, heel, spread your weight out evenly and then come forward onto your big toe, baby toe and back onto your heel. Take your time to move between these two places. I always start the same way so that your brain gets in the rhythm really quickly of what we're going to do next. Let your weight settle into the middle of your feet, toes soft to the floor. Then let the floor push you taller, stretching up through your calves, tightening your knees and then softening them. Reach up through the backs of your thighs, focus in on the ring of bones that makes your power. Find your hip bones for a moment and deliberately move yourself in and out of neutral spine. Again, to tell your brain the extremes that we're trying to avoid and to find that true neutral halfway between the two. Sneak your fingers round to find your tummy muscles and focus on them. Let them hang out on purpose. Then take a nice big breath in, letting them swell a little bit. And as you breathe out, draw the abdominals in, let the pelvic floor lift and breathe. Then bring your hands beside you. Stretch really tall, lift up through the top of your head, pick your shoulders up, drop them down. Start with some arm circles. So shoulders up to your ears, round and down. Lift your chin. Think core, but get the shoulders moving. Nice. Then pause, take the arms wide, bring the fingertips in and get the elbows involved in your circles. Up, round and down. You might get some cricking and cracking, but that should feel like a good thing. Keep the tummy muscles in, trying not to let them stick out against your t-shirt. And then pause, go really wide, big arm circles. Up, follow with your eyes, round and down. Forward, lift, round and down. And one more. Nice. Then we're going to go straight into a bit of balancing. We're going to start with our arms wide and bring a knee up in front as we bring our hands together. Then wide again as you put it down. Tighten the leg you're standing on, bring your hands up in front and go wide. So think about the bottom you're standing on, make that one strong, lift out of your waist, head tall, trying to make it very subtle when you swap from one leg to the other. Finding your balance, working your arms. Then we're going to pause and I'm going to add a bit. I'm just going to turn sideways so you can see. We're going to bring the leg up in front, but when the arms go wide, put it right back behind you. So it's sort of a lunge at the front and a good stretch at the back. And then you've got to pull it up and through, tightening the bottom you're standing on, and then same leg, back and stretch. Coming up and through, same leg, back and stretch. Push the heel down, give the calf a stretch, up and back and down. And one more this side. And then back to the middle and change sides. I find it easiest to start knee up, arms in front and then go back and stretch. Knee up, back and stretch. You want to feel it's requiring a little bit of heart and lungs as well. Pull up, back and stretch. Pull up, back and stretch. One more. Lovely. And then back to the front. Now